The back-to-school shoppers are certainly not escaping inflation this school year. That is why 14 states, including Ohio, held tax-free weekends to give families a break from sales taxes on school supplies, clothes, and some electronics. But taxes in retirement, well, you don't really get a reprieve there. What kind of planning do you guys offer on how to lower taxes on retirement income? I think this is probably one of the most important, probably top three things for people to look at. You know, when people come into the office, they always want to get great investment advice. And, you know, I love the fact, Chaz, that you talk about, you know, it's important to get good investment advice and get, you know, obviously an opportunity to participate in great gains. But, you know, here we are, we have a government that, that's spending roughly 125% of its GDP. We've got the debt ceiling. We're just blowing past that number. And we've got massive amounts of debt. Uh, we have the fact that in 10 short years, Social Security is saying that they're only going to be able to you know, pay about 75 cents for benefits for retirees. We've got a massive issue to take a look at here. And then in addition to that, usually somebody's biggest or second biggest asset that they own is their retirement accounts. And for the most part, a traditional tax-deferred retirement account, it could be in the crosshairs of the government's higher taxes because that's where the money is at. And whether they get that from you in higher taxes with you know legislative changes in the future with the tax code and or look at their attack on what they're trying to do to get it from your children when you leave that money uh, to your loved ones. They've done that twice now with the Secure Act 1.0, and then they also attacked retirement accounts in the Secure Act 2.0 with the uh, reduction of stretching out the taxes over their lifetime and now forcing people to take distributions and get all that money out uh, over a 10-year time frame. So it is super important. And now, in addition to this, if we look at, again, one of the other crucial decisions that somebody needs to make, and that's making what could be their best approach on when to draw Social Security, because Social Security, when you add up what the monthly income is, the average married couple, and you take that number and you times it by you know, retirement of 30 years, it's a million-dollar decision that you make with Social Security. And the third is this issue of taxes. So the, the planning needs to come into how do you keep the government away from your money? And by doing so, is it important to incorporate the tax planning into the overall situation? Wouldn't you agree, Chaz? I would. Actually, That's I've talked about it um, as being a renaissance right now with taxes. I mean, because everybody is acutely aware of the financial situation um, of the U.S. government, you know, the debt, uh, the debt ceiling earlier in the year when we kept bumping up against and you know, had the whole market uh, scared about what was going to be the result if we had to default or, you know, couldn't pay our bills. And so we know that we are in uh, a, a dangerous situation with taxes and, and with the, the situation with the government. And so my thought is, why would you want to go into a uh, environment where taxes almost inevitably have to go up? In fact, if we continue to spend more than what we make on an annual budget, many people believe those are actual tax increases. They're just delayed because we're, we've already you know, spent it. We're going to have to pay it back at some point. So uh, the tax planning aspect of is, is really where your advisor, where she is going to earn uh, her keep because... Um, like you said, Nolan, how, how terrible would it be to have over the last 10 years generated an additional 2% per year and an extra 20% on your investments to give it all back after one bad tax planning year? So there are a lot of things that retirees can do to reduce their taxes in retirement. Um, it just kind of depends on what the sources of income that you have, what your tax brackets are, and again, what some of your personal preferences are. So again, uh, I know uh, if you've got any Michigan listeners, I believe uh, government pensions are not taxed uh, at the, the state level. So maybe looking at choosing a more friendlier state to live in. Some states don't have any income taxes. Um, you know, so other states give special tax breaks for certain, certain types of income. So it's important to know what types of income you, know, you have and if there are any advantages to potentially relocating to a more favorable uh, tax state. There also is a concept of, of what we call uh, asset location. So 
you know, everyone is familiar with asset allocation, you know, which is a fancy word for how you split the money up, but actual putting the appropriate type of account or appropriate type of investment in the appropriate account is the concept of tax location. So consider municipal bond income for the most part is generally tax free at the federal level. And if you buy a bond in the state in which you live, it generally is state tax free. Um, but, you know, why would you own, for instance, a municipal bond in a uh, IRA? You know, that's a, a, an egregious sort of an example. Hopefully nobody has that. But, you know, why would you own a tax-free investment in an already tax-advantaged type of account? So conversely, why would you own a taxable income like a bond or, a, a, you know, a corporate bond that pays income on a monthly basis or annual basis in an a taxable account. Wouldn't it be better to own those type of investments in a tax advantaged investment like your IRA or 401k? So go, working with the advisors here at, Mer at America's Retirement Headquarters, we can not only help you allocate your retirement, meaning decide on the appropriate amount of, of uh, stock and bond and cash, but putting those, uh, those percentages into the most appropriate tax efficient account, as we just described. Um, and then, you know, potentially timing things. We've seen it uh, where you, uh, distributions from a traditional IRA and 401k can actually cause retirees to jump into a higher tax bracket than when they were actually working. Uh, so uh, I know you've heard it before, Nolan, a lot of people come in and say, well, I'm going to be in a lower tax bracket when I retire. That is absolutely not true. I mean, if on so many different levels, but on one, tax rates are going to be predicted to be higher in the future. But, uh, but at the second level, okay, now you've got Social Security. Now you have these required minimum distributions that need to start coming out at 73. And generally, it, it, all that income generally pushes uh, retirees into higher brackets. And so maybe it makes sense that you want to, again, convert some of your traditional IRA and 401k to Roth before you retire while you have income to pay the taxes. Maybe it makes sense to delay taking Social Security for a number of years until you actually are fully retired, um, you know, just kind of staving off and, and waiting to get that higher benefit. So you, you really can be very strategic about your Social Security benefits and about your income distributions um, and, and just kind of looking at ways to minimize the combined effect of the income sources that you have using timing strategies, uh, tax location, and then Roth conversions, looking for a friendly tax state as well. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, I mean, Social Security, when you look at the lifetime benefit of Social Security, it could be a million-dollar decision, which is why that decision is so crucial. The other thing about Social Security is it can be tax efficient as part of your overall plan, or it can work against you tax-wise. Mm. If you look at it, we've got an event coming up. We're going to be talking about Social Security. We're going to be talking about taxes and health insurance, all this and more. And we'll be talking about ways to, again, try to minimize your taxes in retirement time. So if you get a chance, go over to our website. It's ARHQ.com. Click on the Events tab. Make sure you register for coming out to our either economic update over at the Hilton Garden Inn or be sure to come out to uh, Red Lobster, grab some uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits on us, and we're going to be uh, talking more on Social Security, talking more on taxes and health care, uh, and just showing you ways to really kind of put you back in control of your financial future. Uh, we'd love to have you join us. It is not the government's job. Quite frankly, it, it is the opposite of their job to make you uh, informed on how to save money when it comes to taxes. But it is critical that you do. You want to make sure that you get to keep as much of it as possible. For that, you want to do a little bit of prep work. Uh, and that is something the team at America's Retirement Headquarters can help you with. Make sure that you get to keep as much of your hard-earned money as possible. You just need to set up a time to speak with them, either at the upcoming events. Uh, as Nolan mentioned there, go to ARHQ.com, click on the Events tab, or give a call. Skip the line and get straight in front of them, 419-794-3030. Once again, 419-794-3030. We want to thank you, as we always do, for spending part of your day with us, joining us here on America's Retirement Headquarters. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. Hope you have a safe week ahead of you. Uh, it's still the summertime, so I hope you stay cool out there. And, and guys, appreciate the time as always as we wrap up. want to leave you with the final word. Yeah, so as we wrapped up there talking about taxes, I'll leave you with a quote from the Honorable Learned Hand. 
He said there's two systems of taxation, one for the informed and one for the uninformed. So we appreciate you listening to America's Retirement Headquarters here on Toledo's largest talk station. And, uh, you know, just remember when you think retirement, think America's Retirement Headquarters, which is home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates. Have a great week, folks. We will see you same time, same channel right here on WSBD.